Serology testing is where you are looking for antibodies against a pathogen in a patient's blood. In the context of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, we would be testing a person's blood for the presence of antibodies which specifically bind to the SARS-CoV-2 virus, providing an indication that that individual had been exposed to the virus and has subsequently raised an immune response. Widely accepted serology tests are lab-based ELISA type assays, where SARS-CoV-2 viral protein is used to capture these antibodies. These assays typically require serum, so a patient would need to see a phlebotomist in a healthcare setting and their blood would then have to be sent to a laboratory. However, at LGC we recognise that in a time of social distancing, there are many benefits to being able to take these samples at home via a finger prick blood sample rather than having to travel to a clinic. Which is why our focus has been on developing a high performance laboratory based assay that can be used on both serum and mitra microsampling devices. This approach combines the best of both worlds, a minimally invasive home based sampling technique with a high fidelity lab based test. If you receive a negative test result, it means that you do not have antibodies against SARS-CoV-2. It's important to remember that a negative test result does not rule out the possibility of an infection, as a person who has recently been infected may not have developed antibodies yet. Additionally, immune responses can vary between different people, so antibody tests are not intended to replace testing for the virus itself. If, on the other hand, you receive a positive test result, it means that you have at some point been exposed to SARS-CoV-2 and have developed antibodies against it. Whether these antibodies confer immunity is a topic of much discussion, as the scientific community rapidly gathers data to shed light on the immune response to this new virus. And we are pleased to announce that the team at LGC have developed an antibody assay that can be used for both serum and the Mitra remote sampling devices that demonstrates the required 100% specificity target along with 98% sensitivity. There is a lot of focus on the specificity of antibody assays. If an assay is 100% specific, it means every positive result it gives is correct it never gives a false positive result. If an assay is 100% sensitive, it never gives a false negative result. In the case of COVID-19, the consensus has been to make assays as specific as possible, as a false positive result has the potential to encourage someone to presume prior exposure when they hadn't. And if their behavior then changes, they could be more vulnerable to infection and potentially spread the virus. Sensitivity is also very important. However, if you were to give out a false negative result, then the impact is less, as someone may self-isolate longer than perhaps necessary. Specificity is also very important when dealing with a disease that has a low prevalence in the population. For example, if you have an assay that's 95% specific, that means if you measure 100 samples, you would get an incorrect or false positive result five times. However, if only 5% of the population have had the disease, we would only expect five true positives in every 100 people. So in this example, the assay would give five true positive results and five false positive results. So half of the positive results would be wrong which illustrates why it's so important to have an assay with a specificity as close to 100% as possible.